why do you think it is so easy for a child to walk onto the streets and get their hands on drugs, but it's so hard for the police to find the people that are dealing these drugs? Much of the points that have been raised here tonight by the panelists, uh, including the speaker, and also from questions that have been raised on the floor. I think we point to a fact that our society has kind of slept on the job on this thing. And um, <clears throat> we, um, I think we, we were just discussing here uh, with my fellow members of parliament that, uh, that we, we could engage, we could spend the whole evening blaming people about, you know, former government, former administration so many years ago. The reality is, as you've said it very clearly, kids have access to drugs right now more than ever before in our communities. I've never shied away from the fact that our police force needs to reset itself and become professional. And the government, over time, all it has to do is look at strategies and form guidelines and policies to do it. So we're doing just that. So I'm not trying to defend the force here. By the same token, I would say there are very good police officers out there who are doing their work well. But I think we are at a crossroad where we simply really want to deny that opportunity where a child gets access to drug readily in their neighborhood or on the street. And the child is a child. The child is born of parents, belongs to the community. This is where the first responsibilities lie. I can tell you, Leo, over these last few weeks, We've been raiding and raiding and uh, taking people in. We raided Nundonumai last night. But we can't keep raiding. We can't keep raiding. And we know how many raids have been done in the past. It will never stop. We're trying through our police reset to bring in new technologies to try and dominate the space where drugs come through undetected. Because only through technology can we do that, do that by satellite, we're through partnerships. So I think the answer to your question, really, government must look after the police and make it professional. Parents, look after your children. Spend time with your children. And I, have no, I continue to say this. You know, how sick is it for a parent to give drugs to their child to take to school to sell. The act in itself of a parent doing that. Because that's like beyond comprehension. But that's how bad we have become. But it's something that we must do, and I think a lot of good points have been raised here today. I've been listening keenly, and hopefully, you know, go back with something to be able to try and work something out and some good issues there on data. There are sporadic data in government everywhere. But we've been trying, you know, for a very long time to try and consolidate all this data so they become accessible to academics and students and those who have more brain than others to be able to help us with solutions. So I think maybe that's uh, kind of a short thing. Um, we'll try and reset the police. Parents, look after your kids. Thank you. Thank you. I have about